Hey, it's Matthew here with FreePrescriptionLenses.com. That's all right. That's it. And Aluino, Aluino, my noble friend, I'm going to show you how I cut transition lenses with anti-glare anti coating for your new Ray-Ban 5121 Color 2000 Size 50. It is the Ophthalmic Wayfair. Let me take it out of its case. As you can see, the Italian leather case. The cleaning cloth, it's upside down. Let me turn it that way. And last but not least, your Ray-Ban frame. So let me move all this aside. This is it. That's the original lenses that come in there. Ray-Ban 5121, color 2000, size 50. So the first thing I'm going to do is take out the original demo lenses because I've only got a 20-minute window to try and show you everything I want to do. I'm going to put your frame into my Italian Santinelli LE1000 edger. It is going to trace the shape of your right lens. Then it's going to trace the shape of your left lens here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everybody loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. You are getting the unbreakable polycarbonate lens. They are bulletproof up to 22 caliber and have both UVA and UVB protection as well as going all out and getting the transition and anti-glare lenses on top of that. So I'm going to set your frame down. I'm going to pull the shape up on my computer. If these were prescription, I would be putting in your pupillary distance because it's not. I'm going to match the frames. This is a polycarbonate lens cut on the soft cycle because of the anti-glare, which I'll explain in a moment. And it's being cut for a xyle frame, which is an old school name for plastic. So let me take your unbreakable polycarbonate lenses out of the sleeves. They send them to me. These are your lenses. Before I get started, you can see that they are virtually clear indoors. Now, I need to put a chuck on them before I put them into the lathe. This is what's going to hold them in place while it's cutting. So what I'm going to do is pull a little double-sided adhesive sticker. The black side is the sticky side. That's how it's sticking to my hand, my finger. Put it on there. Pull away the other side. Put your lens on there. Get everything centered up just perfectly. And on goes the block. Let's do the same thing for the left lens. Put a block on there. Put the sticky pad on there, pull away the other side of the sticky pad, get everything lined up, and boom, drop the hammer. So, the anti-glare coating, which I will explain a little bit more in the coming up, but for the short term, I, one of the features about it is it's a hydrophobic lens, meaning that it hates water. You don't have to use a liquid cleaner anymore to clean it. Just use your Ray-Ban cloth that comes with the case. But it is slightly slippery, so I'm going to put an extra sticker on the back side while it's cutting so it does not slip when it's in the chuck. Hello, Chuck. Excuse me, Charles. I don't know you will have to call you Chuck. But the first thing that's going to happen is the LMU is going to come down and trace the shape of your frame onto the lens to make sure your lens is large enough for this frame. Now, it's tracing the concave side of the lens first, which is closest to your eyelashes, and then it's going to scoot over and trace the convex side of the lens. All the while using those calipers to measure thickness to know how to put the bevel into the frame. The actual cutting wheel is down here on the bottom. It is the lighter color wheel. If I can spin this thing a little bit. Um, that's what's going to grind away most of the polycarb. This wheel in the center with that channel is going to put the bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. I will have to close this out as, as it's cutting but I want you to see your lenses touch the cutting wheel. That is it. Now, your lenses, let me show you another one by example. Let me just pull one out. We'll show you the difference. Now, the anti-glare coating, it's wonderful for driving at night, eliminating glare, especially for driving at night in the rain, but from street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead lights, fluorescent lights, it's also an anti-reflection lens. So when someone's looking at their glasses, they're not looking at their reflection in, in the lens. The or if someone takes a picture with the flash, you won't see the flash lit up like you do in this fluorescent, I mean the fluorescence overhead lights and the lens on the right, which you don't get with the lens on the left. That is what you're getting. And of course I can put that sticker on a little bit better. Let me put that right there in the center. So that's what the anti-glare does. Plus it comes with the best scratch coating in the business. That's the other nice feature whenever you got a premium lens. If you notice, it's still completely flat all the way around. In a moment, it will move over and put the bevel onto the lens. 
which it's going to do now. No longer is it going to be flat edged like a nickel. It's now going to have a knife like edge, if you will. Sharp enough to cut wet paper if you're really strong and can push through it. <laughs> Sorry, I take my work seriously, not myself. In a little bit, water is going to kick in to wash away the debris that is built up on the lens. If you notice, there is water running in the background, but polycarbonate lens is cut dry, while plastic and high index is cut wet with water running on it like you see here. So this is only the final bath. When this stops, I'll take it out and see if it fits into the frame, which to your surprise, I don't think it will. I've worked with this frame enough to know it has a very deep bevel. I'm probably going to have to make it a little bit smaller for it to snap in perfectly. But I can always cut more off of the lens. I can never add it back on once it's cut. So I, I start a little big and work my way down. Especially with the price of these lenses. Which, by the way, at FreePrescriptionLenses.com, when you buy a frame, you get clear lenses, which you are getting today. Aluino. Did I say it right? Of course, I didn't mean it with an Italian accent. But hey, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Halloween though. All right, that's a little bit too Brooks. How, how about a Bulgarian? Can I work on one of those? Okay, so for now, your lens is still wet, so I'm going to dry it off so it's not slippery, so I don't drop it on live TV like that, like that. See, I was just playing. I was just testing to see if you were paying attention. All right, so right now you still have a little bit of rough edges on there, so I'm going to put it on my hand stone, which is completely flat. Just works on friction. I'm going to use my thumbnail to scrape away what's known as the schwarf. That's the technical term for this stuff. It is optical debris, optical sawdust. I scrape it off the lens using, I do this so much, I've worn a V-shaped bevel into my thumbnail. My friends call it an occupational thumbnail. Once it's all off the lens and on the counter, what do I do? I wipe it on the floor. And this is the part of the video I love to remind kids. Kids, kids, stay in school. I went for years to learn how to cut lenses. Don't think you can... Just start wiping stuff on the floor and expect to be as good as me. you got to go to school for that. So, tuck it in at the outside corner and using your thumbs, press down at the nasal area. No, it is not going in, so I'm going to take it down a little bit more. Put it back into the chuck. Thank you, chuck. And bring it down a, a tenth of a millimeter all the way around. Now, it's not going to go back onto the cutting wheel on the left. It's just going to go back to the bevel wheel and take a tenth of a millimeter off your lens and a tenth of a millimeter this is my PD stick this distance between my thumbnails is one millimeter so I'm going to take a tenth of that off all the way around the circumference but it should make it well enough that it should pop right in Aluino, Aluino, Aluino. I'm gonna keep working on it. I'm gonna keep working on it. I'm gonna get it. Trust me. Can I just say, noble friend? Or as they used to say back in the 1500s, Willie. <laughs> okay, I'm sure someone in the 1500s said it. it. May not have been a reference to you, but somebody must have said it. I just didn't get it out of thin air. Or did it come to me in a dream? Oop, we're done. We're done. Back to work. No more improvising. All right. So out comes your lens. No more test dropping on the counter to see if you're paying attention. I know you're paying attention. So this time I'm going to drop it on the floor to see if you're paying attention. All right. So back to the handstone. Back to the safety bevel. Back to the thumbnail. Back to wiping it on the counter. Back to wiping it on the floor. Now where were we? Were we trying to get this in your frame? Okay. To see if it fits, I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corner closest to me and using my thumbnails, it snaps right in. Look at that. Look at that. So let's go ahead and cut your left lens. I'm going to grab that, put it in, flip it to left, and hit start. Or as they say in Boston, start. By the way, do you know what khakis are since we're talking about Boston? That's right. I asked you, do you know what khakis are? What's that? You think they're pants? No. It's what you need to start a car in Boston. 
All right, I know. I'm working on it. Give me another week. I'll make that joke funny. I'm working on the timing. 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 I'm going to get it down. Trust me, by the time you write or you buy a second pair from me, I'll have that joke funny. I'm warning you. Or I will give you a dollar off your next purchase. <laughs> You know, people forget I am a professional. I have a professional license. Um, yeah, well, I can't help that. I went to school, and they just give you one when you do that and pass the board exam. But, all right, so now you left the lenses cutting, just like before. Let's go ahead and keep working. I'm going to take this block off. Pull the sticker off since it's no longer needed. And one of the things I like to do before I'm done is get everything in standard alignment so that everything lines up perfectly on the frame. But I would like to mention that 99% of all optical shops do free adjustments. So if these are too loose or too tight when you try them on, or if one side is higher than the other, because I have my right ear is lower than my left ear, so all my glasses you know, are tilted down on one side so that it sits level on my face. But yeah, if, if these do need adjusting, just stop by your local place and tell them. It only takes about 30 seconds to adjust the frame. But I will get it in standard alignment, and I'll show you how I do that at the very end. Cut, cut, cut. By the way, this Santinelli Edger runs about $30,000. I recommend everybody go out and get one. And that way you can cut lenses at home and eliminate me. Because I need to be eliminated. I've been working 15 hours a day, 7 days a week for 3 months straight to fill the orders. I'm not complaining. I'm just stating it matter-of-factly. So, we were actually starting to get some snow tomorrow. I might get a day off, but it's not going to happen. Let's see. This whole process takes about 15 minutes. It's now 8.09. I probably started about 8 o'clock. It is Monday, March 24th. 47 degrees, at least according to my Samsung Gear watch. And if only it could get colder with tomorrow's rain, I could get a day off. But it ain't happening. It ain't happening. Hey, that reminds me, I need to take a bath. Get some of that sawdust off of me. In just a moment it'll stop and then we'll see if it'll fit or do I have to take it down some more this late in the day I usually do all right stop that and take it out so remember with your unbreakable bulletproof lenses if someone's aiming at your shoulder duck take the bullet with your eye keep your eye on the bullet as my coach used to say or maybe it was the ball I can't remember it was a long time ago from Little League Okay, off the safety bevel, scrape that off with my thumbnail. Should I clue that when I ship to you just so you know it's authentic? And dry everything off, clean everything off, and see if it pops right in. So I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corner, and with my thumbnails, not my thumbnails, but my thumbs snap down, boom, it goes in. In the future, should you ever need prescription lenses for this frame, I can send them right to your home. Again, to take them out with your thumb, you just hold the frame, push downwards with your thumb, it pops right out. You're always going to push down with your thumbs to, if you, to remount them. If you ever want to get polarized lenses from me or anything else, you can change these lenses out with the polarized. Just tuck it in at the outside corner like I did and using your thumbs, just snap down and it snaps right in. These are unbreakable lenses. You're not going to hurt the lens and you're not going to hurt this frame. So one thing I want to do, as I mentioned, whoops, I forgot to wipe something on the floor. Look at me, I'm getting rusty in my old age. Is make sure it's in standard alignment, and that alignment we call in the business a three-point stance. One, two, and three being the bottom of the frame. I set it on the counter with my thumbs. I press down, there is no wobble like with most of my other pairs. Let me grab one of my new Wayfarers that I wear in all my videos. When I put it on the counter, because my one ear is lower than the other, there is a wobble, but it sits level on me tuck that back up now I flip the frame over I do the same thing on the other side press down with my thumbs there is no wobble 
I want to make sure that each hinge overlaps perfectly and there's the same amount of tension. And one more thing I want to do is I always like to put protective sleeves on them when I ship. Ray-Ban sends them to me that way with one plastic sleeve on the left temple, which you see here that I pulled off when I opened up. Um, I'm going to put a second one on that side for when I ship to you. But I want to clean these lenses off. And of course, you get the original demo lenses that came out. Should you, years from now, if you don't want this frame anymore and you want to sell it, just pop the original demo lenses in there and it will look brand new. So right now you can see that I need to clean something off that lens. But what I was going to say is what you can see is that the lenses are still virtually clear. I'm about to activate them. That's the term we use in the business for transition lenses. You can see as they are now. I'm going to put it in my little transitions unit that has a very strong ultraviolet light in there. Put it in there and hit the button. As you see, all transition lenses will turn dark on day one. If you give them two weeks, they're going to continue to darken every day for the first two weeks until they reach their maximum setting. After that, they'll have years of problem-free performance. The only time you will have a problem with them is they will not darken inside of a traditional car with a traditional windshield unless it's a convertible or a motorcycle, then it will. But your windshield absorbs all the sun's ultraviolet rays, which cause your upholstery to rot or your dashboard to crack. That's why they won't turn dark in the car. They are also temperature sensitive, meaning the cooler it is, the darker they will get. Once it gets into the 90s, and particularly upper 90s, they will not get as dark as it is from in the 80s and below. But your lenses do have UV protection, both UVA and UVB. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin by burning it. Your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes while you're wearing these. So they've come out. It takes about 30 to 45 seconds for them to darken when you first get them and a little bit slower when, when they go back inside 45 seconds to a minute. But after that, don't worry. They're going to keep getting much darker for the first two weeks, providing they're exposed. Aluino. Again, Matthew here, I really appreciate you choosing me to get your glasses. You could have bought them from anyone, but you got them from the guy who gave you the free clear lenses. Well played, sir. If anyone else has any questions about what I can and can't do, email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com. And Aloino, hopefully you got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.